one of the coding rubrics at one of the top tech companies. And um, in this video, I'm gonna be going over it very quickly to overall help you in your coding interviews, or at least just see kind of like, what am I thinking about when I'm doing my coding interviews? And so uh, let's get into it. There's like four different criteria that I'm looking at if I'm evaluating a coding interview. Um, and also I wanna see too that coding interviews are like different in that I feel like one, one thing that I hear a lot is that people will do a coding interview and then they'll fail it. Like they'll do the coding interview and they'll be like, oh, well I solved the problem, that means I passed. And that is not the case. Like just because you, just because you do a coding interview, you do the question does not mean you passed because the interviewer has out like a little notepad. They have like a little notepad out, maybe like this, maybe it's on their laptop, maybe it's on their computer and they're taking notes on you and it's not just, oh yeah, he solved the problem. That's it, let's let them in. And uh, did you get the correct answer is, is a part of it. Uh, the, the explanation that you give, like did the explanation make sense? Was it like really, really murky? Was it really hard to understand? That kind of stuff is like what the interview is gonna be looking at. Um, how do you behave in the interview? Are you saying like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, which makes the interviewer think that like, okay, well, maybe you got like some kind of problem. Um, I've seen people not talk at all during interviews. So that's something. 